what's up, it's back day baby. And uh, I started off with a compound movement today. I felt pretty strong to begin with. And uh, I didn't know how my lower back was gonna feel. So I remember it's all a bit uh, vulnerable and tender last week. So I decided to go on to the bent over rows with an overhand grip. Use the pyramid scheme so I increased the weight as I went, except for the last set, I decided to go a little bit lighter. I felt the lower back was getting really pumped and it was still a little tiny, tiny bit vulnerable. So I lightened the load there and then uh, decided that it's going to be cables and machines for the rest of the workout. So I went onto the cable rows next and did four sets there of around 15 reps, I think. And now I'm on the neutral grip cable pull down as well to target the lats and the lower traps there. And uh, I think I'm still like coming to terms with uh, or recovering a little bit from the weekend. You know, spent a lot of time at uh, an expo, like on your feet and in air conditioning. A little bit muggy, musty, not getting any sunlight as I hoped, but you know, that's the name of the game, isn't it? But I, always, I find that every time that I travel and come back, I'm never as strong as if I don't travel. Like, it's uh, amazing how much of a difference that you can feel, so you have to be mindful of that. And, uh, but, I, you know, when I got back, made sure that I did my cardio, went for a run in the hills, and uh, did the sauna, and uh, what else did I do? Oh, yeah, the red light therapy and all that usual shit, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, making sure that I'm back into a schedule of my eating patterns. I ate well while I was away but you never eat as well as you would be cooking for yourself and having obviously the nutrition solutions uh, makes things easier but when you're cooking you know exactly how much you're eating if there's any additional oil on it or if it's soybean oil or canola oil as opposed to olive oil so uh, anyway that gives me a better idea but you know the, the size is going on well I've put on 20 pounds now I uh, weighed myself this morning I'm up 20 pounds I don't feel like I'm putting on any fat, just feel full, a little bit full in the stomach, just getting all the calories down, which is mainly made up of like red meats, some chicken, fish at the last meal, and uh, you know, having my isolates a couple of times a day with my cream of rice, and uh, that's pretty much all the carbs that I'm having, the cream of rice, some rice, some normal rice, potato every now and again, that's pretty much it, you know. But anyway, I feel like I require more rest today, so this is a perfect time for me to communicate with you, but I better get in and do another set, I guess. Right, we're closing out this mother. We're done for the day. I'm gonna do cardio later on. So just to let you know, I've been doing cardio twice a day now. Uh, five days a week. No, six days a week. One day I have completely off. Um, or sometimes I'll do a cardio in the morning. But what I'm generally doing is about uh, 25, 30 minutes in the morning and about 20 to 30 minutes in the evening. I, I go by feel, I don't exactly have it written out, but it's between 20 and 30. And, um, you know, last night, I didn't do a morning cardio because I was flying, traveling. So I went for a run last night for about an hour. And, uh, you know, it was, I normally try to run off road. So wherever it was hilly, I just power walked. Uh, wherever it was flat or a decline, I jogged. Uh, but the majority of the time I'm actually on my stationary bike, which is a watt bike, or treadmill. I've got a curved treadmill at home, so for convenience, I'll do it at home whenever I can, or just go for a run uh, from my house. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of traveling as of late, so I've only been out on the bike for a long ride once. But I, you know, just to give you an idea, I am doing cardio every day, twice a day, but on that day that I'm supposed to have completely off, I usually do a cardio on one of those uh, sessions, you know, like you could say, am I doing too much cardio? 
well, I don't think I am for me. Maybe I, it would be for someone else. To me, it's therapeutic. So if I weigh up uh, the benefits and the negatives, the benefits to me is that I feel so much better when I do get it done. I do feel recovered. I do feel better mentally as well as physically, spiritually, because if I go outdoors, I'm out with nature. Um, so those, those are a lot of benefits that weigh in my favor. So that tells me go and do it. I've been putting on weights, I've been putting on lean tissue, I'm up 20 pounds now, so I can't be doing that much wrong, it must be going in the right direction, so uh, you know, if it isn't broke, uh, you know, don't, don't try to fix it, like I was speaking to Dana Lynn Bailey over the weekend, she just suffered from rhabdo, uh, which is a, definitely a severe case of overtraining and under recovering. Um, and that's where I put all my emphasis in. I, I, I push myself to the max, knowing that I'm gonna push my recovery to the max with all my little biohacks that you may think is a bit woo-woo. However, if uh, my inflammatory markers are down, if I'm feeling better, if I feel like I'm recovering better, if I'm gaining more muscle tissue than I ever have done in the past, then I must be doing something right. So, um, you know, as, as, as many as the haters get onto me and say, oh, that's so fucking weird. You know, live your life, man. You're just obsessed over this shit. And I'm like, dude, I'm loving my life. I love doing this. I love being obsessive. So uh, you do what you do and I'll do what, you, what I do. You know, you can either apply it or, you know, debunk it and throw it out the window. It's up to you guys, but um, I'm gonna carry on on my journey. And uh, now I gotta get to work. So I'll see you guys here tomorrow.